They made a lot of 69 Camaros, but only 311 were like this one. Looking at this car, it's kind of obvious to see why the 1969 Camaro has been such a popular muscle car over the years. It's got great styling, and if you chose the right option boxes, you could come up with a combination of parts that made for a screaming performer. Uh, plus, you could have creature comforts inside, so it really was kind of a winner all the way around. This is about the hottest 1969 Camaro you could have bought from your local dealer without getting a fancy one like a Copo car or a Yanko. This is a 69 SS 396. It's got a four-speed transmission, 410 rear axle. The interior is loaded with options, and it's dripping in beautiful Le Mans blue. But everything about this car is as accurate today as it was when it rolled off the assembly line back in 1969. But the coolest part about this car is the drive line. Opening the hood on this car is like going to a circus for Camaro fans. First of all, the restoration quality is unbelievable. The detail level is just amazing. They've got the date-coated spark plug wires. They've got the chalk marks everywhere, the right stampings and badges and paint daubs. So this is about as accurate as it gets. And then you land on the big block engine, and this is a 396 cubic inch V8 making 375 horsepower, but what's very special is the L89 aluminum head option. This is what makes this car one of around 300 is that cylinder head, very rare piece. And the more you look, the more you find. Over on this cylinder head is a bracket with what they call a torque strap, which anchors the engine to the suspension so that it doesn't twist as much. And I'll bet you there's more smiling hens in this world than there are torque strap brackets left. According to Chevrolet literature, the aluminum heads didn't really add additional horsepower to the car, but they did make the front of the car lighter, which made it handle better, making it better suited for racing. Uh, one of the interesting things about the L89 cylinder heads is that they did have a slightly larger exhaust valve, but other than that, the castings are about the same as the regular production iron cylinder heads. In addition to that 375 horse, aluminum head 396, this car has a Muncie M21 four-speed manual transmission, and behind that is a 12-volt Paz Attraction rear axle fitted with 410 rear gears. So this car was meant to go. Uh, it's also pretty cool to see that there are a whole slew of other options installed on this car. So whoever bought this thing knew exactly what they wanted and also had a pocketbook that could handle a loaded up Camaro like this one. And when we say options, we're talking about power steering, power disc brakes, uh, it's got a console, factory cowl induction hood, the wood steering wheel, AM FM radio, soft ray tinted glass. Uh, this car still has the original GM seat belts. And if you open the trunk, even the correct spare tire and jack assembly are present. There's a lot going on in the back of this Camaro. We have the deck lid mounted rear spoiler. We have the blacked out tail pan, which means that there's a big block under the hood. The SS badge, uh, the bumper guards, which some people love and some people hate, and our dual exhaust tips reaching out from under the car. This car was restored in the early 90s, but the team that restored it did everything they could to make sure that the restoration was accurate, including various grease pencil marks, which were what you would find on the factory assembly line, designating different options and that different quality control measures were met as the car was being built. This car was sold new at Jack Dankel Chevrolet in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and some of those original dealership literature and documents are still with the car today. It seems to me that because 1969 Camaros are so popular that the majority of them have been modified in some way, uh, either to become a show car or a drag race car or a road race car, or maybe they've been wrecked or repainted or they don't have the original engine. Uh, so when you see one today, 
that is still wearing its original color scheme and has all of the original options that it came with, I mean, that's kind of significant, especially when it's one of 311 ordered with the L89 aluminum head, 396 under the hood. There's a lot of really cool Camaros in the Brothers collection, but I think this one stands tall. Thanks for watching our episode. If you have a comment, you can leave it on the Facebook page or in the YouTube comments. You can also email us at letters at musclecaroftheweek.com. We'll see you next time, and hopefully those punks stop leaving black marks in our parking lot. Ha, ha, ha.